Hi, everybody. Uh, I am Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepaint.com. And today, in our Halloween series, we are with Linnea Overby Novak from Sw all the way from Sweden. And uh, we're going to be doing some exciting, as always, Halloween designs. And, um, you know, uh, this is obviously been a challenging Halloween environment. And uh, I was excited to hear from Linnea that she's actually got a fair amount of work right now, which, um, you know, has been a challenge for I know a lot of you. So I'm thrilled that um, she's got work and we can see her exciting designs and enjoy Halloween. Um, just for those that need to know, we have a 25% off store-wide sale for this Halloween. Scary25 is the coupon code. And um, we also have a giveaway. So if you want to sign up for that, um, which is $200 of free face paint. So um, go to facepaint.com for that. With that um, infomercial over, Linnea, take it away. Hello, guys. I'm very excited to be back here again. Um, thank you, Blake. Um, well, so real last glad time to have we you. Did, <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, last time we did Girl Heroes, uh, but this time it is time for some Halloween designs. So we will be doing on the job Halloween designs. I will show you uh, four designs, hopefully, today. And, four uh, designs, unlikely. <laughs> so the first one I will uh, be showing you is uh, a super quick design that works uh, perfect for uh, both boys and girls of all ages. And it is done in like two, three minutes. So, and, and wow. I call it werewolf um, claws, I call it. It will okay. look like a werewolf has put his uh, claws on you, okay? Okay. This is a favorite, well, my son's favorite design, of course. So I will start with um, using um, a one stroke that I have uh, been creating here for a crate. For a crate. And I I'm not hearing it. you as well. Can when you, you hear when me you turn, now? Yeah, I hear you great when you're facing that direction, but when you face the other direction. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. Um, okay. So this uh, this cake here, I mm -hmm. have been using uh, uh, craze uh, colors here, uh -huh. and I call this one ripped. Okay. Okay. So and I'm using a five eight uh, brush from uh, Marcella Bustamante. Okay. I love this brush. It is long angled one. So I will uh, pick up the darkest color on the tip here. And I'm always testing it on my hand first. Mm -hmm. huh? a, little, just a little bit more water. And just so you guys know, that um, Linnea is designing some split cakes for us, and we haven't actually put those in production yet, but in the next couple of months, you're going to see these. Yay. Yay. Okay. And uh, Sarah says she's in, from the UK and very happy that this is at a reasonable time for the Europeans. Yes, I know. It's great, right? The kids are asleep. <laughs> we can have some free time. Exactly. So I will start with the, the tip end here. And I will start here and do like very, very thin. And by the time I go down, I'm opening it up. And I can even do some wiggly moves if I want to. And then go back to thin again. OK? OK. So thin. Open it up a bit, like that, okay? And then we will put one here. Hi, Kansas City. Ah, you're right. This is fast. And we don't want it to go over the eye, of course. 
So we will just imagine that we are painting here and we will pick it up here like that. And one last one here. See? So that is a good start. And now we want it to look like it, uh, the skin around is a bit rashed. So some rashes. So we are, uh, I'm taking a number three round brush and a rusty red color. And I am having a very watering consistent here. Oh, we can't see anything. We're just looking at the board right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one. Got it. Okay. Yeah, and I'm just putting a little bit here. Okay. Okay. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hello, Brussels. Hungry. There we go. It's much easier on real skin, of course, mm -hmm. than on a board. But I will show you a, a picture of how it looks when it is on a, a real face. Okay, and now we want to have some white in it as well. So it would look like a little bit uh, more gory, like gore, yucky, yucky. <laughs> Yucky, yucky. Exactly. That's that's the way I refer to it, too. So I'm just picking up some waxy white. And it doesn't have to be perfect, like just a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And now this up, uh, this. Uh, Next thing is optional, of course, but I'm picking up the the rusty red again mm -hmm. with a very water consistency. And then I'm taking my, my business card and I will sprinkle some blood on it. And we can take some some blood drops as well. And then the first one here is done. Mm -hmm. The werewolf claw marks. On a real face, it can look something like this. Is that that? Mm -hmm. that looks can, lovely. Uh, you can be very dramatic and have it on the neck if you want to. Very good acting here, as mm -hmm. you can see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for the next design, it will be like a transforming pumpkin. And I will use the exact same technique as I did uh, in this design. So I'm just going to switch the board mm -hmm. to another one. There. And I will take another uh, one stroke that I have done uh, create here for Craze. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. And nice. I call it, and I call it pumpkin. Why would you call you it can, pumpkin? Uh, you can see the theme here, right? The, yeah, I'm only going to use like Halloween one strokes here. <laughs> <laughs> so Good. This, so this time I'm using uh, Marcella Bustamante's uh, long angle three quarter brush. Let's 
think I will have a little bit more water. I'm just dipping my, the tip of my brush here. Good. And then I will take the tip of it and dip it in a little bit of black. And it is just to get the ripped effect. Okay. And now I will start up here in the hair. Mm -hmm. And I will make the, the, the wiggly moves. Um, some, uh, Sandra asked, Linnea, do you use also star blends for the background? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes I uh, prefer star blends and sometimes I use uh, glycerin based black for, for base work. Mm -hmm. So now we got the ripped part here. Now we're just going to make a uh, just because we don't have to paint uh, the eyes because the eyes are going to be black and the mouth as well. So I'm just going to outline a, an eye, a nose. And a mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we start right up on top. Just pulling it down. So it's very, very quick and easy to paint this. And because it is a one stroke, you will get the nice, the nice effects of it. Mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And now you can use star blends here. If you it's very star blends are very um, nice for the eyes, I think. Um, or you can use a uh, glycerin based uh, black. If you use waxy based, it will get quite heavy on the eyes, I think. Uh, but because uh, star blends are very hard to paint on a practice board, so I will use uh, a black one from Superstar. Actually, uh, sorry, I didn't understand what Sandra was asking before. She says, no, she meant, do you use star blends for the background for the scars that you were doing earlier? Uh, oh, okay, uh, the, the rashes, like, of course you can use star blend. If you get a red star blend, yeah. You can use that one for, for the rashes. Mm -hmm. Of course. So now we're going to paint the eye. So if I will do this on the kid, I will not take my my pencil, uh, my, my sorry, my brush on the eyes because they're very sensitive. I will use a sponge for this, but it's much, much quicker to show you now with mm -hmm. this one. Okay. And then we will paint the nose. Of course, if, if you want to do this not on the job, if you get more time for it, you can put some more details with the 3D effects and stuff, of course. But this is a on the job um, webinar. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting some, some uh, black stripes here. Very gentle. So now I really like to uh, take a blending brush. I got this one from uh, Chameleon. I think it is called like mini blending brush. 
and I take a wet wipe and just dab this a little. This one is dry now, and I'm just dabbing it a little bit on the, the wet wipe. And then I can use it to make some nice shadows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will look a little bit more, it will give a little, give it a little more depth, I think. Mm -hmm. Certainly softens the edges. Yes. Now here you can use um, the rusty red again with the watery consistent. If you want to make some some rashes here, if you want. And of course you can use a, a green one stroke here to, um, to make the top of the pumpkin. Mm -hmm as well so hi Zuri and now we're going to take some white for the highlights And then that one is done as well. Terrific. Very quick. And I only used uh, one one stroke, black, white, and a little bit of red. So if you do this on uh, a kit, it would look something like this. Happy kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now next uh, on the list will be this one. I call it a crazy bat. <laughs> that is a crazy bat. Yeah. You're, you're flying through these. <laughs> I really want to make four, Blake. <laughs> you're going to make four. I mean, we're yeah. only, uh, we're 15 minutes into this. I mean, you're doing great. Oh my God. Okay, I have to slow it down. <laughs> No, the, the last two ones are a little bit uh, more time, so I think I'm on schedule. <laughs> okay, so now we will do the crazy bat uh, design. And of course, I used uh, one stroke that I created for craze, and it is called bat, of course. <laughs> Are you still with me, Blake? Oh, yes. Yes. Someone says you're painting like the Flash. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a big superhero fan, you know? So That's I love a good Red thing. Red. So you're all too familiar <laughs> with the Flash. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so I will use, um, I really like this uh, rainbow cake. It is uh, Marty Cantor's Crystal Water Rainbow Cake. Okay, Crystal Water. I'm going to find it. I love it for uh, backgrounds. I used it uh, on the last webinar as well on the Batgirl. I used that one uh, for the eyes and the, the sky. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And then I use uh, a petal shaped uh, sponge. This one is from uh, Wicked, but you can, uh, always Wicked, I think it's called, but you can mm -hmm. use um, just as long as it's uh, a sponge. You can use a regular sponge as well if you want to, but I really prefer this uh, petal shaped ones. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit of water, squishing it so the water is evenly. And then I will pick up the, the darkest color 
on top. Uh, Cynthia says this will come in handy. She has a boys' Halloween sleepover party on ten on October thirty first. Oh, I'm so jealous! <laughs> that sounds awesome. You will have so much fun. Yeah, absolutely. So it will look something like this, and now we are going to do like a sky here, but we don't have to do the entire forehead. We just have to do like from here to here, okay? Mm -hmm. And of course you can use uh, another background you, if you want like an orange background, you can you can do that of course. Uh, and you can uh, use another color for the bat. You can you can use uh, like the ripped one if you want the red bat. Um, but tonight we're going to try this one. So, and as long as, now it is still a little bit wet, so the girls really like some sparkle. So I'm going to uh, use uh, some glitter on top, and it will stick to the paint because it is still wet. And now we will load um, a three-quarter brush. This one is, uh, it's called it's from face paint stuff mm -hmm. but it's a it's a short angled one i really like uh, when it is angled because i right. think i got more control of it but of course you can use a regular one as well it's what you prefer so i'm going to load this up here This one got like a dark blue, blue, a little bit of purple in it, light blue. Uh, what kind of glitter did you use? It is, uh, how's it called in the English? Like, Iridescent. Opal, uh, yeah, iridescent opal iridescent. glitter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, okay, we will start with the head of the bat. So I'm just going to do like that. Okay, and we can fill this space in with the tip of the brush. And then we will do the ears. We can start here. Uh, where did you get that glitter puffer bottle? Lucy asks. Um, I bought the, this one. I think I bought it on um, uh, the face painting shop in UK, I think. Okay. And what's it called? Uh, it's some kind of for bottle. Yeah, I don't. We don't sell that one. So, face painting with shop UK a nozzle, with a nozzle. Mm -hmm. I think you just shh, shh, shh. And it sprinkles very nice. I think that the uh, you know Janice, you know Janice from uh, Happy Henna Henna Bling. Mm -hmm. I think uh, seashell she uh, sells a lot of these in different uh, colors as well. Makes sense. So, here we got some ears. Make them a little bit bigger. And now we're going to do the wings. I'm going up here up up and now we're going to go down and i don't want it to go under the nose okay and now we're going on the, the center here 
also, um, can you give me the name of the uh, angle brush, please? This one? Yeah. Uh, it's from facepaintstuff.com. Okay. It's a three-quarter angle brush. I don't think I we saw that like, one, I'm sorry uh, to say. I think yeah, I bought one with uh, three different uh, sizes. I see. Okay. Okay, now we're going to begin in the center here. And we're going to paint around the eyes, like around the eyebrows. So we are not painting on top of uh, the children's eyes. And we're going to finish up here in the outer corner of the eye. And we will do the exact same thing on the other side. Like that. And here mm -hmm. we can fill in the space with the, uh, with the brush. And now we're going to connect the wings here. So we're going from the outer corner of the eye and make a little bit of loop and connect it. I use this exact the same technique for the bat girl on the Girl Hero web webinar. Mm -hmm. I have just uh, made the top here different. Looks lovely. Mm -hmm. um, and the colors. And the a colors. Lodi thinks that uh, she loves your work. Oh, thank you. So cute of you. You guys are also lovely. I really love to be here tonight. So now we will uh, pick up a white. I'm using a waxy white. And now we're going to um, to uh, make some crazy eyes. Uh -huh. I see here that it's still a little bit wet. So I'm just going to take a dry sponge and dab it. So we don't have to wait for it. Like that. Okay. And because it is a crazy bat, we want one big eye and one little eye. It's much, uh, I think it's uh, much cuter then. <laughs> Yeah, that is cuter. <laughs> Patty, I hope you're saying I'm cooking and watching. <laughs> she wrote, I'm coking and watching, which sounds like something different. <laughs> I think that's what she means. I think so. And now I will take uh, a number three brush and mm -hmm. a waxy black. And because um, if you get a one stroke that has a very dark, uh, dark color on the, the outside, you don't have to outline it. You can do whatever you got time for. But, exactly. Uh, I will do a little bit of uh, outline. And now we're going to do some flicks here on the ears. and some eyebrows. Mm -hmm. 
and we're going to do um, a mouth and it's not straight because it's a little bit crazy bad. Mm -hmm. and we will pick up the white to make some a piece. And then we will finish with the, the eyes here. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you got uh, like a bat stencil or anything, you can always add some, some stars in the sky or some bats here as well. That will look cool. Mm -hmm. Look how crazy cute he is. Very cute. <laughs> it's kind of a goofy bat. I love it. Oh. So we have to have some uh, for the lips as well. Have to. So that is the crazy bat. Mm -hmm. It's cute, right? Very. Yeah, it's a very popular design. I often do this. Uh, I do like the same thing for for Batman or Batgirl, but uh, when it is Halloween, I just switch uh, the top here to a crazy bat, and you can use several colors. You can be. You can have a a pink bat or a green one or a red you know you can take whatever colors you want that I can really be anything like, yes and i really like this um blue purple color i paint this on my um on my knees mm -hmm. like this on her ah very cute it's very cute and the best thing is that you don't paint on top of the eyes so you can do this design for any ages like even for the the smaller children mm -hmm. or the squeezy ones <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great design so we're going to switch the board out and we will Take something for that is more more popular for the boys, mm -hmm. and I call it a comic zombie design. So, and I'm using I have made like a step by step of a similar one for facepaint.com mm -hmm. uh, several years ago. It was one of the first signs I did for Facebook.com. Hmm. Uh, for a blog? But, yes, of course. Yes, hmm. for the blog. So, but then I used the um, single colors for it. So if you are not used to one stroke and want to have a design with single colors, you can uh, check that uh, step by step out uh, because it's very similar to this one. But uh, today we're going to use uh, a one stroke. I've created this one for Grace and it is called Zombie. Okay. <laughs> Barbara thinks the bat is very cute. Oh, thank you, Barbara. You're so cute. Thank you. Happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to. Uh, Take a three quarter angle brush. And now I'm going to um, pick up the color here. And this one is like, uh, it's, it's dark green. It's like a little bit of poison green feeling. And it's got a little bit of uh, like, um, 
if you're imagining like a uh, walking dead zombie, like a little bit right. of teal feeling, uh -huh. not that super bright as in the step-by-step -step blog. So it's a little bit different. Um, Sarah says these designs are so wonderful, so quick and easy. Yes, thank you, thank you. I really like when it's um, quick and easy designs. Uh -huh. And uh, I really like to use one strokes because it also gives that wow effect very quickly. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm living in Sweden and we are having, um, so we are having, um, uh, we are allowed to paint at birthday parties. So I'm having a lot of birthday party bookings. Um, right now and I'm very very glad about that mm -hmm. but I will do my 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 first event in a very long time and it's a Halloween event so of course I have uh, tried every one of these designs out and they are perfect to use because it's take about five minutes to do mm -hmm. uh, if you have practice on them but you can, of course, take a little bit more time and add some more details, of course. So I picked up the green one here. It looks like this. And we will start. I'm not going to paint on top of the eyes here because we will have black eyes here. So I will start here on the mouth. And I will paint and then twist. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can see that painting. A mustache. Yeah, like a green mustache. A green mustache. <laughs> so we will start on the bottom here. I have the darkest color on the outside. And um. Uh, Christine asked question, will these designs be available after this uh, live? Yeah, so for Christine, we save them out to our Facebook page. So if you need to get to them for our Facebook page, uh, go to look at facepaint.com and you'll you'll see it. It'll be right awesome. after this. <laughs> I can send uh, these uh, pictures as well if you, if Blake wants me to. I can send oh, yeah, yeah. Send uh, email them to me, uh, please, Linnea, and I'll, I'll post them on our Facebook page. Great. So it's not supposed to be perfect here. You can have a little wiggly move if you want to. Because zombies aren't perfect. Exactly. Yeah. And here um, on this um, on this area, it will get sunk in a little bit. So we're going in a bit here, as you can see. And then we go up like this. And here on this part, we don't, we don't want to go around here. We want to go down because we want to place a brain here. So we go down. A bit. Just have to have a little bit more water. Go down. And here we get sunk in a bit again. And the sheet. Okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look much now, but it would look really cool when it's done. And now I'm using the same one stroke, but I will use a sponge. This one is a petal shaped sponge. So I'm spritzing it with water and squeezing it. And then I will pick up the lighter colors. I don't need to have the darker ones, just the lighter ones. Okay. 
And now I will dab this. Now I painted on top of his eyes. That's it. Now we can see again. Okay. Now Hello, we... Costa Rica. <laughs> uh, if this would be on the on the child, I would mm -hmm. use black saw blend for the eyes because it gives it a more softer feeling and it is much easier to apply. I think. Mm -hmm. Um, but since it is a practice board and you can also use a glycerin based paint if you want to it's what you prefer mm -hmm. I will um, use the super saw and I will just um, make the eyes a little bit black here I really like the pillow shaped sponges because they are already rounded. So it's much easier to just squeeze and you have a round edge. Of course, I will tell the, chil the, the, the children to close their eyes, of course. It's a little bit alien feeling now, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. <laughs> All the green, the odd All angles. The green. <laughs> so, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. That's why I'm here. I'm going to take a sum for the nose here. Mm hmm. This is going a lot faster than I thought. Yes, I think so too. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know maybe what I, happened. I, no, maybe I'm nervous. I don't know. But... I don't know, but it's very good. <laughs> okay, now he can see again. Okay, and now we will uh, paint the brain. And I'm going to use the one that I used on the first design that I call Ripped. It is like a red, uh, brown, pink, black one here. Mm -hmm. And I'm using a 5-8 angle brush. Mm -hmm. I really like to use uh, one strokes here because you will get like some pink, some red. So it's, but if you prefer to use single colors, you can check out the step by step. So now we will paint the brain here. And a brain isn't perfect, not on a comic zombie, at least. So we will start here on the edge. I'm just making some, some layers here. Something like that. Rebecca says it's a good feeling when you can do such nice, fast designs. Thank you. So now you can see why I uh, pulled this one down. So we have the space 
to create the, the brain here. And now we will go for the for the teeth. If you are in a hurry, you can just take the black and paint some the easy teeth like I did on the step by step. Mm -hmm. But now I will try something else. I will use um, this is a flora brush. You can get them in different sizes. Like this is a flora number 12 and this is mm -hmm. a flora number eight. So it's depending on how uh, big or small the children are. Mm -hmm. So um, we can, I think we can take the, the big one today. Mm -hmm. And I will start to load it with uh, waxy white. And now here in um, Europe, we will have, uh, I don't know if you heard about Jamvention. No, it, what's that? Jamvention is, uh, it's a convention uh, they are holding in, uh, uh, in Belgium. Mm -hmm. I think it's Belgium, yes, Belgium. Um, but uh, and I was supposed to be teaching there. But since uh, COVID-19 came, they uh, canceled it or postponed it to next year. Mm -hmm. And they decided to do a live stream uh, this Saturday. Oh, wow. So, so where uh, is this? It's online. Um, on and it's Jam called what? Jamvention. 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 You're jamming. So there will be a lot of different um, artists there, and there will be some uh, uh, like raffles and uh, stuff, and there will be face painting and body painting. Uh, I'll give like everybody a link. I found it. And, um, and this is all for free. So um, it will be nice. very interesting. And I'm, I'm one of the first one. Well, uh, congratulations. Out. That's great. I'm very excited, and I will actually paint this design on my son Jack live. Nice. So we have it's Halloween theme, of course. Uh, so uh, if you want some more Halloween inspiration, you have to check it out. So now I have loaded this with white. I'm just going to um, take up, take off the the paint on the top here. And I will dip it in a little bit of water, just the tip of it. And then I will use um, ochre yellow. I think it's called ochre from Superstar here. Mm -hmm. It's like a mustard uh, yellow color. So I will double dip it, as it's called. Mm -hmm. It will get us uh, that a little bit of nicotine teeth effect. Like a little bit gross, gross. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> like this. Yeah, no, it's got to be gross. Otherwise, it just, it isn't right if it's not gross. <laughs> and now I will take a little bit of tip in black here as well. Just the tip. So I have triple dipped it. First with white, then yellow, and then black. Mm -hmm. Okay. On my hand, you see mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and now we will uh, paint the central incisors first. Boom, boom, mm -hmm. and then the lateral incisors, and then uh, two canines. Okay. And now I will pick up, um, just to make it a little bit more fun, I will use a stencil as well. I use this one. It's uh, from um, uh, Weiser's uh, collection, Graffiti Madness. Mm -hmm. And I have a finger sponge. 
and I'm picking up some of the black. And I always uh, test on my hand to see if it's not too wet because it will ruin the paint if it's too wet. Mm -hmm. so you just dab and you can see if there is bubbles, it's too wet. Okay. This one is perfect. So I will. So it will be a little bit more fun. And now we will take um, number three. Um, what co what um, container are you using for all your paints? Oh, this is um, a magnetic fish fly box. I can show you something. Oh, fish fly box. Okay. Yep. Uh, it looks like this. Yep. But this one got like uh, three in a row. Mm -hmm. It's perfect if you, I don't, I have a big craft and go and I don't want to open it when it's just me. Yeah. So uh, I have some small paints. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, I'm picking up uh, a waxy black with a number three round brush and we will do some outlining. So I will start with the eyes. I don't have to fill this in, just have them um, just placing the around it. Okay. And you don't have to be in here close to the eyes and irritate uh, the, the child. You can blend it in later. So, and then we just outline that one. Now we're going to have some um, some angry brows, okay? That. And now I'm just having some details here because we want the orbita to look a little bit more um, popped out like that, okay? And then. Uh, we're going to have two small, small holes here. It's the Foramen Infra Orbitale. I don't know how it's called in English, but in Latin it's Foramen Infra Orbitale. It's where the nerve came, comes out. Yeah, I don't know. That, <laughs> one's, that one's just a little outside of my range. Uh, <laughs> I'm studying it right now, so I can't help myself. <laughs> Okay, and now we will outline. Hello, Ecuador. Hello, Italian. Italy. Oh my God. Do we sell that container? I don't think so. I don't, you know, I think you have to get that from like a sporting goods store where they do fishing stuff. Yes, it's a, it's for a fish, fish uh, things. Mm -hmm. I bought mine on eBay. So if you search for like fish fly boxes, you will find it. So yeah. and now we're going to just outline it very thin, the teeth. It don't have to be perfect. It is an on the job design. The kid will be very happy, even if the line work aren't perfect. Okay. It's always perfect. <laughs> it's art, remember that. Art doesn't have to be perfect. Oh. It's just art. Those are beautiful teeth, by the way. I've seen a lot of uh, zombie teeth, and I'm, I have a particular, I'm, I'm, I think those are great teeth. Oh, I did, uh, I don't know if you have seen it, but I've been, uh, I did with the craze, uh, uh, with craze colors as well, uh, fire skull. Mm -hmm. Do you see that one? It's a skull with mm -hmm. fire planes. And okay. I take 
exact same teeth for that one. Those are good teeth. And now we will make some some scars here. Of course. Of course, we have to have. And some uh, cracks here and there, you know. Hello, Switzerland. And just to remind you, we have 25% off on facepaint.com. So feel free to load up on face paint. There we go, some scars. And because it is a comic skull, I have to have some like hashtag. I think it's, I always, I always paint like hashtag on boys. I love it. <laughs> I think it's cute. It's very cute. So now we're going to make some for the brain here. Right. Something like that. Mm -hmm. So now if you, you can leave it like, like it is, or if you get some more time, you can take the blending brush and just make some, some nice shadows. It doesn't take long, but it gives it a, a nice effect. Mm -hmm. Just to uh, blending the edges a bit, especially here. Um, on the eyes. If a child, um, if you have missed some paint or anything, you can easily use the blending brush to fill that space in. Mm -hmm. And now we will paint some highlights. So I'm picking up the waxy white again. Okay. And which which white is that? It's a uh, diamond effects. Okay. But you can use like uh, the any white. You can use fusion. You can use craze or anything. As long as uh, I I really like to use waxy based uh, paint mm -hmm. or. Um, for my black and white because I think it gives it a very bright, uh, uh, bright and strong white. I agree. I mean, it's pretty easy to, uh, all the wax based paints are pretty good. And yeah. so diamonds great, so is wolf, so is mm. um, uh, all of them. So I'm just uh, putting Tag. some white mm -hmm. in here. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's a brain, it's gross. So that's good. And just some some highlights here and there. Mm -hmm. I like to use a little bit of highlights around the eyes here. Sylvie loves this design. Ah, thank you. And if you have, uh, if some of you guys are trying it, some of these designs tonight, you have to tag me on Facebook or Instagram so I can see how. Absolutely, it's that I seems really only love, fair. I really love to see what you create. And Riley loves it as well. Oh, thank you. So here is the comic zombie design uh, on a real face. It can look something like this. Ah, with a little green hair dye. Well, Does course, the trick. Of course, I have to add some hairspray on him. Absolutely. Makes so, sense. Uh, and for the fire skull I did, I um, used red hair, of course. It's very, very cute. I will post it to you as well so you can. Okay, that would be great. Yeah, please send me those photos. Oops, I used the same. And you finished just on time. Well done, young Oh, lady. my God, I made it. You made <laughs> it. <laughs> that is pretty impressive. 
Um, wow. Okay. I mean, I don't think we've ever gotten exactly the number of designs we wanted to get done on time. So oh. terrific. Well, thank you very much, Linnea. Thank you for staying up late in Sweden for us. Thank you so uh, much. It was so fun. And thank you all our South American, European, American, everybody uh, for joining us and uh, look forward to seeing you next time when we have no less than Mandy Gibson for Halloween 101, our last Halloween webinar. And um, okay, well, have a good day, everybody, and, um, and stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.